Welcome to Late Night Riders. I'm Gretchen and I'm joined by my grandma Debbie and my mom Kristen. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Christmas. Do you guys want to tell any stories from um, Christmas at Ram Road? I think we have lots of stories from lots of years of traditions that we've had, but what were some of the traditions that you had with your mom and dad? Mm. Well, we didn't do big things. We did small things, you know, like we'd have like maybe Christmas Eve, have like a little um, like party or get together, like my mom would say. So we might have something special, like she might, might make something that we could have to eat that would be little treats and things like that, and maybe popcorn. Not a whole lot, you know, but um, when I was a little bit older, after I got my horse then, we made things, uh, pot holders and cookies, and I would get on my horse and I had these little bells and I would walk around the neighborhood and ring the bells and That's go sweet. up to That's people's really doors and sell these pot holders and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> you sold them for Christmas? I did. And, the business know, woman. We thought it was fun, you know, to do at that time because it was Christmas. Everybody needs gifts, right? So that's what we did when I was really new. Yeah, there you go. So That's how it all started. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that Grandma had saved for you for a long time for a special uh, dollhouse. Or was it a dollhouse? or? Mm -hmm. um, it was called Little Princess, and it was from Sears. And it was, it, it was actually um, furniture that you could get uh, per, like, room for a little dollhouse. And then the little tiny dolls that went with it. That The dolls weren't really that special, to tell you the truth. But my mother would save her money each week from working and put money away to go to Sears to buy one little piece of furniture to go with this little dollhouse. And so um, there was like a living room, a dining room, a bedroom, um, and I think that's, I don't know if there was Did another room Did you get it? She put it out. She still has it. She I know, still I've, has I've seen it. it. So when I was, yeah. Did I she get it, it out? Did you get it like one by one or did you get no, it all together? No, she wrapped every little one up for me at Christmas time and that's that was so my sweet. Christmas gift. So I got all those little boxes of furniture and um, I actually still, I kept all the little boxes. I would mm -hmm. take them out each time and then put them back in the little boxes. I don't know why I was that She <laughs> did that with everything. <laughs> She's still the same well, way. I know. She has a Barbie that's like that still. You oh. still have your Barbie and yeah. you have the mm -hmm. Beatles album that you never opened. Right. At 16, who does that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I Not just wanted me. to keep it uh -huh. for somebody else or something i don't know when that keep might it explain the random boxes of things that i keep <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. so yeah that was a really fun christmas though because all those little boxes and little tiny like a grand piano with little pictures on it that were so sweet like look like um oil paintings on the inside of the little piano when you opened it up and everything was like perfect in detail so that was fun and I still have that little furniture which is sweet yeah yeah that's pretty special mm -hmm. so I think you should pull it out so we can see we it put on a little display we should mm -hmm. that would be kind yeah. of fun this did year did you have a favorite gift that you got oh. I had lots of favorite gifts that I got mm -hmm. but my neighbor taught me how to open my presents before Christmas so we I didn't know it no and the first year I did that, I ruined my entire biggest Christmas that I ever had in my life. <laughs> Which included? A horse. A, yeah. And yeah. And I knew about the horse as well. So oh. it was, yeah, it, it was, but it was still special. Yeah. He was a special horse, pony. Your pony. Do you remember getting him? What it was like oh, yeah. when you got him? Yeah, I so. couldn't believe it. So it was Christmas Eve night and we had just come back from, we always went to my uncle's on my dad's side. And that was always a wild party, but to come back and get this horse was... Walk out in the barn. Yeah. We were in our, our Christmas... Dressed up clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we said something to you about to look in the stall or something. I don't know what it was like. You've got to look in the stall. And I can't remember if we... Did we put a bow on George? Mm -hmm. I think we had a red bow around his neck. He had like a little neck. blue... Um, he did. He a little little blue rug. Yeah. You know, just a little blue rug on and little George... Um, our neighbors were selling this little pony, and he was so cute. He was so old, and they had taken Wasn't him and washed a him. Circuit pony. Yeah, they had bathed him and taken him in their garage and dried him off with like I can't remember how they dried him off, like dry blow dryers and things to dry mm -hmm. him off, and then they uh, brought him over so that we could have him there for Kristen when she walked in the barn. So my friend who was selling the horse to Baca and Papa, um, they 
they were, her, she was a friend of mine. Her name was Kristen as well, spelled the same way with an E-N, which is the right way to spell Kristen. That's so sweet. <laughs> But I was telling her the whole time at school, I'm like, oh, you won't believe it. My parents are buying me a horse for Christmas. <laughs> oh. Wait, so she, how did you oh find out? Goodness, Kristen, I didn't know I that. Think my sister told me. Oh, well, I did it to Ida, too. <laughs> wow. But it was a horse. We had all sorts of things that year. So that was a really, that was a was big that the year. year you got the saddle, too? Or was that the following year? I think that might have been the following year. There was a point, though, where I think I only did it, like, one Christmas, maybe two. And then I was like, this is not fun. You can't act surprised about no. things that... I mean, I went down to the details of, like, our my aunt sent presents up from Texas. And we looked oh at, my, Kristen, looked I at didn't those. Oh, my, Kristen, I didn't know that. Oh, and Gretchen. I was mm-hmm. like... I was like, well, this is bad when you can't even open up, like, a gift from out of town and yeah. act surprised. It was bad. Well, I didn't mean to find out our biggest gift no, I know. of that year. My mom told me to go get laundry out of her bathroom or whatever to bring it down to the laundry room. And I walk in, and we had gotten, like, a Nintendo Wii that year. <laughs> it was the big <laughs> gift, and it was right in her bedroom, like, as Aww. soon as you walked in. Uh-huh. I did that to you twice, remember? What was the other one? The other one was at the house before that. You, It was for your birthday, I think, and you walked into that room and all of your presents were out in that room that I was getting I ready to wrap. remember that. Light bright and all of that stuff was in there. Well, <laughs> I, of course, told my sister. I said, you won't believe what we're getting this year. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. But we yeah. never did that. We didn't, we didn't really do that. Like, our Christmases were small. My father was an artist, and he would paint, like, little pictures. We had two great big picture windows in our living room, and he would paint little scenery pictures with, um, I don't know what it was, like window paint or whatever, white paint, Mm -hmm. and put little pictures in the windows. And then he one year he made, um, uh, like, a Rudolph, and the little girl that's with Rudolph or whatever, I can't think of her name, but anyway. Clarissa or something like that? And made two out of wood, yes. So that uh, he painted them, and they were just they looked just exactly like the the reindeer. I mean, they're a bigger mm. reindeer. Yeah, that they were. Would stand like he put them in the ground, and they stood up. And yeah, we those had those would two be reindeer really that cool were really to have sweet. now because those mm-hmm. were old fashioned. Mm-hmm. You made sweet. us beds. Remember when you went made mm-hmm. us baby doll beds? Baby doll beds. Mm-hmm. 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 Those were really special. That was fun. Yeah. 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 What else did you like, Gretchen? Like my biggest gift of the year Mm -hmm. or the years well I don't it wasn't a big gift but the one that like really launched me into coffee was getting a french press when I was like a junior in high school or Mm -hmm. something like not not a nice french press or anything I think it was like just almost an afterthought but it was like one of the best gifts I use that I still have it like (laughs) use that for years I don't use it very much anymore Mm -hmm. but that definitely launched me into getting all the coffee things. Yeah, later on, then in college, you were, became a barista. Mm-hmm. So there you have it. You might not have known that about Gretchen. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a special Christmas coffee drink that's your favorite? Like an actual... Like when you were a barista, is there anything that you liked that was a really good one that you made? Mm, we didn't... I mean, I, I'm allergic to dairy, so most of the stuff that I drank was just, like, black coffee. Um, but we did have, like, the the drink at our school was called a Dirty Snowman, which was toffee nut, white mocha, mm. and, like, it was a latte, so espresso. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, whipped cream, milk, you know, mm-hmm. the whole, whole deal, but it was so sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you like sweet drinks, mm-hmm. that's the one for you. That but sounds like a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, one of our traditions that we do every morning is we have cinnamon rolls. Like, no matter what, like, that's the biggest thing that we do. We always mm-hmm. have Christmas cinnamon rolls morning. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For um, dairy-free people, I didn't know this. We're not sponsored by them, but Annie's makes dairy-free cinnamon rolls. Mm-hmm. Just so everyone knows. I just found out. There you go. And Trader Joe's. Mm-hmm. I just bought them from Trader Joe's this year, mm-hmm. so... We could buy Annie's, too. Not sponsored by them, either. Not sponsored by them. (laughs) My mother, um, her name was Nina, she would, uh, her big thing was to make, as we got older, as as her, as children, as we got older with our kids when they were little, you guys when you were little, then she would have a a Christmas breakfast at her Mm -hmm. house. 
and she really poured it on, boy. She had like a pan of bacon going, eggs going, toast in the toaster, the cinnamon rolls, orange juice. I'm trying to think of what else she had. I mean, she Sausages. made... Sausages. Yeah, she did. She mm -hmm. had the, the breakfast, you know, everything. And um, bless her heart, you know, she worked so hard because she was trying to get everything ready. That's not something you, you could put together the night before. Like, she didn't do the... Um, quiches or things like that mm -mm. she made it all right then and there for us and it was oh the best breakfasts I think that we ever had so when you were little you mm -hmm. remember that that she did that and that was fun and we'd do that in the morning so mm -hmm. we had to um, do Christmas quick get over to her house fast mm -hmm. and then have breakfast with her and it was a rush and her house was little and we all crammed in with yeah. all of the cousins and everything but it was fun that yeah. was that was a very fun time and she was always so cute because she was always dressed so sweet and um, always had like a little red tablecloth on the table and her little Christmas decorations out it was a really sweet time mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah she really was sweet about that and I really do think that after my grandpa passed that she that was her thing to do Christmas morning to help her through that you know that that was a that's kind of a difficult time so I think for her that mm -hmm. was her way of coping through that and then after that, then, the the craziness of, especially when we became teenagers and didn't want to get up early, because we also had to feed the horses before we left, <laughs> right. you know, so it wasn't like, yeah, I don't know how we whipped through that stuff that fast, mm -hmm. and then we would eat at her house, and then we would all go back over to my parents' house and do another Christmas, so our two, our Christmas Eve and Christmas days were packed with, mm -hmm. you know, people, but we, only, we got mm -hmm. it done in two days. We didn't have to do more than just the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. So I think my favorite tr tradition, and we didn't do it one year, um, was Christmas pajamas. Like getting those oh, every yes. single yes. year. There was mm -hmm. one year where we didn't have them, and my sister and I threw a fit. <laughs> you guys were getting How could older. You do that? <laughs> they were getting older. I figured that they knew. They you were know, done? It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's still not done. <laughs> no. No. Christmas pajamas are still a go. Mm -hmm. Christmas Eve pajamas. Yes. Christmas Eve pajamas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to have them the night before and get up with them on. Right. Because mm -hmm. it's special. Mm hmm. So, one yeah. Christmas tradition that is on my bucket list that I have never done is taken um, a ride in a sleigh with a horse ever. Mm. And at some point in my life, I think that would be really neat to do in mm -hmm. a sleigh as opposed to just taking, I mean, we've had wagon rides and things like that, but not mm -hmm. an actual sleigh ride. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. You kind of have to have snow on the ground mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Our Amish friends just asked us, they said, didn't we ever take you on a yeah. sleigh ride when we had really? our sleigh? Yeah. And they, we never did. We saw it. Yeah. I saw the sleigh in the yeah. barn. It was, it was sweet, really, really sweet. But yes, a sleigh ride would be, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's on the bucket list. Mm -hmm. That's what's next, if you're asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's, um, what are things that you did with the horses, like traditions that you did with the horses? Even like New Year's, too, because technically, I mean, not everyone believes horses' birthdays are on January 1st. But, you know, did you do anything special? I just think what was fun is like if there was a big snow and the horses had been inside through the night, you open up those doors and let them out, and they just snort and mm -hmm. run through that snow. Mm -hmm. And it was so pretty to see that that clean, fallen snow, and then the horses just running and, and playing and having the best time in the snow. So um, I think that that was fun. We did a we did a parade one time. We did like mm -hmm. a, a parade. Um, with your carriage. You still mm -hmm. have your carriage. With the carriage. We did that one time. But we I don't think we had an actual tradition. Really you did. You horses. decorated the barn. One, oh, we like did. Not every year, but yeah. Yeah. deck the we stalls. Did. We yep. did things with the stalls and in the barn. We did some, mm -hmm. like, um, fun, like, brand mashes, you know, that were hot mm -hmm. um, and gave those to the horses mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years. And mm -hmm. uh, carrots, we had white, carrots and white fence. Mm -hmm. And so they had about 20 acres at the last farm that we were at. had white fence, and she would put red bows on the mm -hmm. fence posts, which was very, mm -hmm. very pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was just a nice time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And looking forward, we'll be doing that again soon to yeah. talk yeah. more about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we've ever had a typical Christmas dinner, but did you guys have one growing up that you would do? Or is it always just whatever Papa wanted? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was a man that loved food. He did. He loved food. So we always had a big, big <gasps> One year he made food. you do, like, or a couple of years in a row, made you do prime rib for everybody. Oh, we did. Yes. 
That was Margaret, that was a lot. The whole, a whole big dinner for everybody, uh, a large dinner for everyone. Mm-hmm. And um, I can't remember how many people were actually at that dinner, but we had a, a lot, lot of people. people. Yes, yeah, we mm-hmm. did a lot of cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, and he never wanted cookies. to do like anything that was like a you know sandwiches or anything like that. Everything had to be a sit down meal. We all had to sit in the same room. He was very adamant about everybody being together. So we put two tables in the dining room to fit everybody mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. And then we would bake cookies. We would. We did a lot oh, yeah. of cookie baking. Mm-hmm. Lots of cookie baking. And, and you had this. your massive tree. That oh, was the biggest tree I think I've tree. ever seen. We had gotten that from Frank Amuth in Michigan. And it was a, a huge tree. I'm not sure how tall it was, but a great big, huge, tall tree. We still have that, but the ceilings aren't tall enough for it at this point. So... Um, and she know. decorated that all by herself. I remember her <laughs> going up on the ladder and like flinging, flinging the, lights the lights because <laughs> the ladder wasn't tall enough. Mm-hmm. Did you fling the ornaments up there too? Because well, I have no, no idea how you got those up there. No, what I, I got so tired of it. It had to be like, how tall were the ceilings? Do you think it had to be over nine foot tall? Nine oh foot yeah, because I think Easily they were like over sixteen nine. foot ceilings. You or could something. go up to the balcony because the, the ceilings were tall anyway. You go up to the balcony and you could reach over and put the star on top of the tree, which was a it was a big reach, but. Um, Mikey or somebody would push the tree over so that I get the star on it. But I got so tired. It was such a big tree. It was so huge that um, I just thought, well, if people can use lassos, I can take these lights. <laughs> That's really what I thought. And I thought I can whip them up in the air. And I'd walk around and whip them up in the air. And each time I went around, I just whipped them up higher, tried to whip them up higher. And um, got pretty good at it because you had to fling them you know like leave them loose fling them up in the air and get them up there and that's how I put those lights on that tree there was no other way to do it because it was so big but then the ornaments um one of us would get on a ladder we'd put the ornaments in a basket go up the ladder put the ornaments on with the basket lower the basket down fill the basket back up give it to the person move the ladder and put the ornaments on the ladder or on the tree with the ladder Mm -hmm. So crazy mm-hmm. to think that. It was a big tree. And that was a really special time because we had just moved out. It's about an hour away from here, and we're, we're from mm-hmm. here, and mm-hmm. it's an hour away. And um, that was when, like, Martha Stewart was the big thing. Like, oh she goodness. had just come out with all of her Christmas tree ornaments. Oh and we, we, of course, went to Kmart and went and picked all of those up. And you had a tree that would spin that had mm-hmm. china little china green tree um, with like little china teapots and all kinds of little uh cups and saucers cups and saucers and green ornaments and then Mm -hmm. a blue tree it was a it was a white tree with blue ornaments rather um with blue ornaments that was all from martha stewart your Um, purple tree we had a purple tree uh that had all the purple ornaments and then a, a red tree that had like little red cardinals and red presents and things like that they're all martha stewart ornaments that went on those trees and then our traditional tree what was really sweet was that um, uh, we were pretty young when we had Kristen and a friend of ours was so sweet she would buy she bought a little the first little ornament that Kristen ever got was a little tiny feather angel a little tiny angel like a little wooden head and a little feather for a body and little feathers for wings and that was her first little ornament that my friend gave to her and then as the kids came along, Mindy and Mikey, then every year she would get a little ornament wherever she went, something that was handmade, and give an ornament to each one of the, the children. Mm-hmm. And we have our, our tree really actually um, got its ornaments from many of the things that she gave you kids. And mm-hmm. so one day you'll each have your ornaments whenever you want them mm-hmm. to put on your own trees, but three three of each. So that was a that was a... I thought a really sweet tradition that she did, Mary Pat, a friend of mine. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is real really sweet. sweet. And I have known her since junior high school. We met in junior high school and have known her since then. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you don't really keep friends for that long. No, so it's, it's incredible been a long when time. you do. And she still, she still gets you things that are like she handmade does. or things sweet that are local things that or are just thoughtful mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. precious little things. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you guys, like, excited for Christmas this year? I guess this will be posted right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm expecting it to be a good year. Yeah, (laughs) definitely. Definitely a good year for sure. So everyone have their shopping done? 
No. No. <laughs> no. Well, it was a short year because uh, Thanksgiving was so late, and I think we're behind the eight ball and all of that stuff. Yeah. So we are we are mm-hmm. furiously trying to get everything wrapped, done. purchased, wrapped, make sure everybody has. I haven't forgotten someone. Oh, I would be feel so bad if I forgot somebody, but I hope I don't. Hope I haven't. Yeah, so we had an unexpected trip this year, right yes, before, like in between Thanksgiving and now, and then. Um, we always do, which is a big thing, is our Christmas party here for Ram, and we all go out. There's like, how many of us go out? Five or six of us go out. We shop for all mm-hmm. of the gifts. So what we do is we buy um, just goofy gifts that we do a gift exchange company. at our <laughs> Christmas party, which takes place in Oak Openings, and it's in a um, is it a cabin or what do they? They call it the lodge. The lodge. The Oak Openings lodge. It's so pretty mm-hmm. when there's snow there. I don't mm-hmm. know if we'll have snow this year. I don't think we will, but it's so pretty. We've seen deer that have walked past, and mm-hmm. it's right in the middle of the mm-hmm. woods. But we do a real funny, you know, like gift uh, exchange, and um, it just gets everybody laughing. It breaks the ice, and and that's been our tradition. We won't stop that one. It's just too funny. Yeah. It is mm-hmm. So now we Gretchen videos all of our mm-hmm. going and shopping and buying and purchasing everything, and yeah. it makes a fun video mm-hmm. too. One sweet thing about the lodge is that when I was um, a little girl, like my parents, I have always loved oak openings. My parents would take my sister and I to the park to oak openings, which is, um, you know, right in our backyard. Mm-hmm. And they used to have deer like that were in an area, an enclosed area that people could go up to and look at the deer. And I was so little. I just thought the deer were just so wonderful. It was magical to me when I was little. Well, then after that, the lodge wasn't that old. But being in 4-H, actually, my sister was in 4-H, and I tagged along. But um, I had this belt buckle that says, like, 4-H clovers on it. I had this belt buckle on, and (laughs) they invited us there for a square dance, and I got to go. I was too young, but I got to go. And they had the square dance at the lodge, and I just loved it. I was so tiny, so little. So now when we go there, even for a party, it brings back old memories of just being there when I was little. And now our company is there, and my family is there, and just sweet, sweet memories. Um, And the lodge is just the same as it was. It's beautiful. The whole back end of it is all just windows, and we do see deer, and Mm -hmm. sometimes there's snow. It's a gorgeous place to be. So mm-hmm. what you're saying is cue mm-hmm. the square dance music and we will have your belt <laughs> no, buckle no, there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull it out and show you one day. <laughs> no, no, I don't no. think we'll be doing any of that. But, <laughs> but you know, yeah. yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Um, we wish everyone a happy holidays yes. and a Merry Christmas. Yes. Um, we hope you enjoyed listening to our podcast and encourage you to share with all of your equestrian family and friends. You can tune into the Late Night Riders podcast show every Friday night. Each episode will be uploaded exclusively on YouTube where you can subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our latest shows. Do you have a topic you'd like to discuss? We want to hear from you. You may email us at podcast at ramfence.com or feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you again for listening. Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas. you, your families, and your horses. Merry Christmas.